Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another college video because why not? I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of high school versus college. Now I obviously know a lot more about high school because I've been through the entire four years of high school. I've only been through one semester of college so far, but I thought I would kind of like do this now and then maybe do this again later and like see what things have changed, I guess. I don't know, but anyways, let's get on to the video. <laughs> and yes, I have like a giant bun on top of my head. I don't even know how I did that, but um, it's there, so we're going with it. <laughs> Alright, so I think the number one pro that I have for high school is that most of my friends were actually in my school and like in my classes. College, like my friends went all over the place. I mean, most of them are at UD, which is about like 20 minutes away from where I am, which is pretty close. But I have like one went back to Italy, one went to Hawaii, I have one in like Colorado, I think and Florida and just like all over so it's really hard like keeping in touch with people especially when they're that far away so that kind of sucks but like I said most of my friends are at UD or at like a school near me so I can go and visit them which is really nice. Another pro about high school is that it has a much lighter workload. I have a lot more work in college. Like I thought high school was bad but when I got to college I was like oh my gosh I have so much work to do so yeah that kind of sucks but Oh well. Okay, this one's kind of like a pro and a con for me. For high school, I had to wake up really, really early for school every day. And honestly, like, I hate waking up early. But I also kind of like it because it forces me to get out of bed early and start my day early so I get more done. Because, like, once I'm up, I'm fine. It's just, like, waking up is really hard for me. High school started at 7.25. We had to be, like, in class, ready to go, 7.25. So I had to leave my house around, like, 7-ish. But college, my earliest class was at 10, so I had to leave around like 9.45. Definitely a huge difference there, but I do like getting up early and having like something early in the morning just to keep me like going, I guess. Another pro about high school is that um, the cost is like pretty much nothing. I mean like you like pay for it through taxes or something, I don't know. But college is really expensive, especially textbooks. Like high school, you just go to the library and like rent out the textbooks and you only have to buy them if you lose them. But college, you have to go buy the textbooks. There are a lot of money, like online access codes. It sucks. Also, I think high school had more events, I would say, than college. So I don't know like exactly what events are held in the spring because I haven't done it yet in college, but high school had like homecoming, prom, truck pool, like there's a lot of different things, at least in my high school, that you could do. College, there's probably a lot more than I know, but right now, like, they have like some events. Cons for high school, the number one thing I hated about high school was the dress code. I, oh my gosh, I remember one time I was wearing, okay, I'm not even lying to you guys. I was wearing a dress with a jacket over it, like a cardigan over it, because we can't show our shoulders. So that was fine. And then I was wearing leggings under the dress. And someone stopped me, like an administration person, whatever. Whatever. And they said, um, you can't wear that. The dress is too short. And I'm like, I have leggings under it. People wear leggings by themselves. And she was like, um, no, you can't wear that. And I was like, well, I am. But yeah, that was really... um. That really pissed me off, I'm not gonna lie, but the dress code in high school is very stupid. Um, I'm not, I'm just saying, it's really stupid, really dumb, I did not understand it at all. So yeah, high school dress codes suck, but like college, you can basically wear whatever you want, at least for my school. I know some colleges have like, like a dress code where like you have to like look nice to class or whatever. But mine, like, I can basically wear whatever I want, so that's really good. Also, high school, there was a lot of just wasted time in class and, like, in school. Like, I would go into school and, like, I had, like, an aiding period, so I got, like, all my homework done in that period, which was nice. But, like, my actual classes, I would go in and then we would, like, do something and maybe have, like, 20 minutes left and not do anything. And I'm like, I don't, like, I don't care that we didn't do anything, but I'm just like, I wish we could have left, but since, like, you have to go through all the classes, like, you have, you leave at 2.25 every day, like, you can't get out early. But college is a lot better because, like, you go in, you do what you have to do, and then they let you out once you're done, so you don't waste time in class. Honestly, when I was in high school, I could go to class, like, two hours every week, just get all my work and then do it at home. Like, I didn't have to be at school all that time. So that was kind of annoying, but college is a lot better. They just let you out when we're done, which is nice. 
High school just had so many rules that made no sense to me, like the dress code I was talking about. My high school had bells, and if you were late, like, you got in trouble. Like, even if you were, like, walking in, like, a second after the bell, you got in trouble. Um, also, like, some teachers didn't allow you to have snacks. Um, you had to ask to go to the bathroom, which makes no sense whatsoever. Like, that's just, uh, ridiculous. So, anyways, college is a lot more lenient in that way. Like, sometimes we won't start class until, like, 15 minutes after because, like, traffic, like, all of that. The professors are very understanding and just, like, so much nicer than high school teachers, I guess. Like, it's not like high school teachers were mean, it's just the rules there are so much more strict. And, like, I get, like, okay, like, when you have a job, you have to be on time and everything, but once in a while, you're gonna be late. Like, there's no doubt about it. Alright, now for cons of college. I have, like, a list here. That's why I'm, like, looking down. If you see me, like, looking down, I'm trying to, like, remember what I wanted to say. Um, anyways, now for cons for college. The first one is that I have to buy my own groceries and make my own food. I am not that great of a cook, um... I don't know how to make too many things, but I'm learning. The good thing is I live pretty close to home, so I can, like, come back and, like, steal food if I want to. Um, so that's good. But, yeah, also, like I said, like, the heavier workload, uh, the cost is obviously a lot more expensive. I also have to take care of the house. I'm pretty much a house mom um, for our house. So, yeah, I, like, make sure, like, the trash goes out every week and, like, it stays somewhat clean. I try. My room's clean. That's good. <laughs> I think the thing that is the most kind of like not depressing but like sad is that it's a lot harder to make friends in college at least for my college like my college is very different and that has like a lot of like adults coming in it doesn't have dorms or anything so it's a lot more like real life beyond college so uh, like my classes I would usually have like maybe 15 people in my classes which I like the smaller class size but most of them are like adults and parents and like that have like kids and families and everything so like I'm not saying you can't be like friends with them I have like plenty of adults that I'm friends with um, like parents and stuff but it's just harder because like they don't live around here they commute and it's just it's a little hard so yeah also I don't see them as much as high school like we have um, like block classes and semester classes so I'll see them at the most once a week for 14 weeks like that's it so yeah, and it gets um pretty hard because we're not really there to like, this sounds so like sad, but we're not really there to like talk to each other, we're there to like learn and get our degree. So yeah, like I still make friends, it's just like a lot harder, I guess, because they're all like, we're all so different. But like, I don't know, does that make any sense? I don't know. Also, I just feel like I'm so much more like exhausted in college. I think it's because... Like I said before, my classes start later, so I wake up later because it's a lot easier for me to wake up when I have a reason to wake up. But when I like, what, even when, even if I want to wake up early, I'm just like, I don't know, like it's just so exhausting because I just have so much to do. So yeah, but it is definitely a lot more uh, tiring in college. I'm a lot more tired all the time, but I'm working through it. That is going to change in spring though because I will have a lot busier of a schedule, I guess. I mean, I did have a busy schedule in the fall, but in the spring it's going to be like crazy. But I'm actually really excited because I love having a lot of stuff to do, so yeah, I'm excited. The last con that I have for college is that my stuff is just all over the place. Like in high school I had all my stuff like at my house, here, like home. Now I have like half of it here and half of it at the other house. And it's just like all over the place. I always like forget to bring stuff and I'm like, oh, I want to wear this, but it's at the other house. All right, so we're going to end with the pros of college because there are definitely a lot of pros. The first one I think is traveling. Since I am an athlete, student athlete, I get to travel with my team. So it was really fun. We went to New York, Connecticut, uh, where else do we go? New Jersey, just like all over the place. And it was a lot of fun and I love traveling, so... Also, I'm a lot more busy now. Like I said before, like in the spring, it'll be crazy, but I love being busy and I love having a lot of things to do. I just get more done when I have more to do. Does that make sense? That probably doesn't make any sense, but anyways, moving on. We also don't have a dress code, which I said before, but that's like my number one thing because I hate dress codes so much. I just think they are ridiculous. Also, we have a lot more freedom, independence. My school, I actually can keep my car there because I live like in a house in a neighborhood. So I have my car there and it's really nice because I can go wherever I want to go. 
uh, whenever I want, so that's nice. Um, and also, I don't have to drive to school because we are in walking distance of the school, which is so helpful because it saves me gas money, and I can just get up, walk to class, walk back, I don't have to deal with traffic and like all of that. Also, if it's like freezing and I'm running late and I have like ice all over my car, I don't have to deal with that either. I can just walk to class, so that's really, really nice. Like it saves me a lot of money to walk to class. Like some days the only thing that I'll drive to is the gym because I have to drive to it, but it's only two minutes away, so it's like perfect. Also, scheduling is really, really nice in college because I can literally pick what classes I want, what days I want, what times I want them, like it is so nice. Some classes have more options than others, like one class that I have that's like more of my major, um, it only had one option so I had to do that one, but like the other classes like English, math, all that, I can pick what days I want, which is really helpful because I can make my own schedule, like schedule it around my job and around like sports and working out and all that, it's just a lot more flexible than high school because high school was like school, sports, job, I was done, go home, do homework, and now I can do pretty much whatever I want, so yeah, that's really nice as well. And I'm also more interested in my classes. I had like an intro to audio class, that was pretty interesting. I said interesting like 10 times. Um, anyways, that class was really fun, and I like learning about that kind of stuff because it's part of my major, so I'm actually like enjoying class and enjoying like my homework, which I have never experienced before because I've always hated like all of my classes so yeah but now I actually like them which is good like I said before there's no wasted time in my class like I had a five-hour class and the last week all we did was take like a final quiz and then I was done everything so I just like walked out also college has a lot of events with uh, free food and free shirts I've gotten at least like five or six free shirts just in the first semester so that's really nice and free food which is good too because um free food in college is just awesome um it's my favorite thing <laughs> also i just learned a lot more like learned problem solving independence like time management i kind of already knew some of it but it just like enhanced that for me in college i guess also i made a lot of new friends on my team they are all from like different countries so it's cool to see kind of like all the different backgrounds i guess and they're all my roommates too so it's kind of fun to like you know live with them and has like a lot of people in the house at all times so if you're ever like bored or whatever you could just go and talk to one of them so all right so i think that is it for this video overall i definitely like college a lot more than high school you get a lot more freedom with freedom comes a lot more responsibility so you have a lot more to do like you know make your own food and everything but that's what you know life is going to be afterwards so it helps you so yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see, like, more college videos of me just talking about it or maybe, like, a week in my life at college. I will be doing more vlogs. I'm actually vlogging today, which is fun. So, yeah, but let me know. I hope you guys like this, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!